Spirit put the cloaking spell because a bunch of people near you are giving you that evil eye. Either spirit is cloaking y'all, a cloaking spell has been put on y'all, or somebody has put a cloaking spell on you, or you need to put a cloaking spell on you. You need to retreat into the shadows. Wow, Aquarius. It's going to be a beautiful home. Some of you are going to have a garden in this home or an orchid. These towers can only occur if you let certain people into your energy. If you don't let certain people into your energy, Aquarius, then they can't cause these towers in your life because they're blocked. Use the wishes wisdom. Why? Okay, Aquarius, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Stars inside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the lead tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings. Ancient Ancestors, Elders, guide us in this read for my Aquarians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. They're telling me to use the wishes wisdom. Why? They said just use it, okay? I normally, you know, this is one of those decks that I like to use for like the Sanheim Halloween time period of the year. So... I don't know what this is about. Before we shuffle, Maybon is going to be at the bottom, so balance. Maybon is associated with the spring. <clears throat> Everything coming back into balance. Oh, they're saying skip the dice. Aquarius, your read is weird already. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to let y'all know. Your read is weird already. Ostera, incubation. Okay. Hmm. It's like, notice this person. It's almost like they're in that egg. It's something here about Easter. Whether you celebrate it or not, right? But it's something here about Easter. Tell me how I heard cloak in the beginning of your read. I heard cloak in the beginning of your read. Then they said use this deck. Cloak. Concealment. Either spirit is cloaking y'all, a cloaking spell has been put on y'all, or somebody has put a cloaking spell on you, or you need to put a cloaking spell on you. You need to retreat into the shadows and hide yourself. What's going on? There could also be a pregnancy here. Wishes have power. So you're a witch. You're a wizard. Uh, you're, you know, and you know. Really, that just that just goes into quantum physics, right? Like, let's let's all be honest with ourselves. Oh, ritual, invocation, and the high priestess. Okay, so there was a cloaking spell put on you for some reason. There was a cloaking spell put on you. I do feel like this was for your protection. Okay, I do feel like yeah. Look at this, spirit initiation. Fire, passion, right? And then Lifa, intensification. I feel like Spirit has put a cloaking spell on y'all. And Spirit, and, and you know what this is? This is so the enemy doesn't really look at you. Okay, which is High Priestess, High Priest Ritual. You are very powerful. You are very powerful. Spirit, fire, passion, also Lifa, intensification. I mean, just look at this. Like, the energy within you is reaching dangerously high levels, okay? For some of you, like, this energy, you need to be careful because this energy could overpower you, okay? It could overtake you. It could consume you. I think that's what Spirit is doing here. Spirit is trying to contain all of your energy so that it flows in a more smooth manner. That wishes have power, yeah. It's a ritual y'all did, and it advanced your powers. Yep. Cauldron containment, I cannot make it up. It cannot be made up. It cannot be made up. I'm telling y'all, your powers have doubled, tripled, quadrupled, but spirit is trying to contain it. Okay, spirit is literally trying to contain it. And so this cloaking spell could actually be like a shroud. It could also even be like, 
They're trying to hide your light from the enemy so that you aren't targeted. Earth, grounding. They're saying ground yourself, okay? Walk barefoot on the earth so that you can release these energies or so that you can feel some balance with the energies. Wishes, cottage, security, lady, goddess, feminine. There's about to be a house here. If not, you're about to renovate your house. Look at this. Water cleansing. Okay, this is obviously like Artemis, right? If you ever heard the tale about Artemis, uh, you know, bathing in, in the river, in the stream, okay? And, you know, there's two women there, but, you know, I feel like it sort of constitutes the same thing. You know, it's giving me NASA Artemis, right? Artemis, how it launched and it lit up the whole night sky. It was the brightest rocket launch ever uh, recorded, so they say. But it's giving, like, your light is going to be like that. Like, your light is going to be so powerful, it lights up the night sky. It turns the night sky into day. Like, that's how powerful your light is going to be, Aquarius. A very, very spiritual read. Wiccan read, okay? Ephos, by the Wiccan law you must, and perfect love and perfect trust. Eight words the Wiccan read fulfill, and you harm none, do as you will, and ever mind the rule of three. But you send out comes back to feed, follow this with mind and heart, and marry you meet, and marry you part. So be careful about sending hexes back to people. Okay, hex banishment. Be very, very careful because I'm telling you, Aquarius. Like, if you try to do a death spell on somebody, like, it could end bad for them. And that's bad karma. You know, even if this is your enemy, it's better for you. And, you know, this is why in a lot of holy books, right, quote, unquote, they would say, don't do the wishcraft or magic because this stuff is real. And you can change somebody's life for better or for worse. And this stuff incurs really, really bad karma. Trust me, you don't want the bad karma. If you have an enemy here, do, don't do no black magic or nothing. Okay, let God handle it. Let the most high, let the angels, okay, your ancestors, let them handle it. Let them deal with it. Okay, because you, you do not want, yeah, I'm hearing bad blood, Taylor Swift. You don't want bad blood on you. Herbal Kitchen is there. Alchemist, you're also an alchemist. You're going to get into potion making. This is a really spiritual read. And the Ace of Pentacles, respect. Wow, some of you are going to be a tarot reader. Tarot cards, guidance. You're going to be a tarot reader, oracle reader. Okay, you're going to be, you're going to have like your own setup. You're going to be a spiritual teacher. You're going to have your potions as well. Like you're about to have your business, okay, Aquarius. You're about to have your business. It's gonna be really, really cute. It's gonna be a spiritual business. Honestly, you know what? These two people are naked in the river. Like you could be like a naturist or a nudist, some of you. Or you could be doing like yoga in the nude, like offering something. Okay, or you could be doing some sort of water ritual, like bringing people out to do rituals with you. Ecstatic dancing as well. Divine timing. Time's up for you, Aquarius. Secrets. So, what's going on here? Oh, evil eye. Spirit put the cloaking spell because a bunch of people near you are giving you that evil eye. They're trying to send that stank energy your way. That's why they gave. The, that's why they put you on a cloaking spell to hide you, to protect you. To surround you with a shroud of magic. Look, evil eye, moon, marriage. Okay, somebody here is secretly married. Okay, I do see that. So just be careful. Some of you, those of you that are dating, uh, somebody is secretly married. Okay, they, they already married. They already got, yeah, they're married to a karmic. Okay, I can't make it up. And it says karmic justice. So yeah, it's a, it's a legal marriage certificate that they have here okay those two are married they could have gotten married in secrecy but yeah no don't don't get involved with nobody's uh you know if they're married yep i can't make it up if they're married stay far away aquarius okay it's a warning here i am seeing that don't get involved with anybody that's married okay that's not for everybody obviously yeah your angels your angels are telling you uh you know 
do not get involved with anybody that is in a relationship or married. Okay, leave that alone, leave that be. I can't make it up. It, it cannot be made up. Okay, they're, they're really reiterating Aquarius. There's something here, like, you know, when they're giving this many warnings, like, it could even be, like, the situation could turn dangerous. So, I'm just gonna reiterate it, because I'm the reader, right? I, I'm working as sort of this conduit with them to relay these messages. So, I'm just gonna reiterate it. Do not engage with anybody that's in a relationship or anybody that's married, okay? It's your final warning from spirit, and I know things are complicated, and it's not all black and white, and I'm not judging anybody, okay? It's not my place to judge, but it's just a warning from spirit. Do not engage. If they're in a relationship, leave it alone. If they're in a marriage, definitely leave it alone, okay? Just stay far away from it. And obviously, that doesn't apply to everybody. Okay. Relocation and death. It's a move here. You're about to move somewhere. You're moving on to bigger and better. That's why Spirit is saying, forget that ish. <laughs> That's why Spirit is saying, forget that ish, love. You have bigger and better happening. You have a beautiful, brand new living situation. That's why I saw that Wishes Cottage. You have a brand new living situation here. It's going to be beautiful. And there's something here, like, the kitchen is going to be very beautiful. Like, wow, Aquarius. It's going to be a beautiful home. Some of you are going to have a garden in this home or an orchid. Like, you're about to have this beautiful home. That's why Spirit is saying don't get involved with, you know, with that person over there. Keep moving forward, okay? Because your manifestation is right there, you know? And give yourself the time and space to grieve. You know, cry it out, whatever it may be, Aquarius, but you're moving on to bigger and better. You're moving on to the next level. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, yeah. You see the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And I feel like it's the same energy. Like, I feel like these two knights represent the same energy, and this is somebody that they would just slow you down. Okay? They would just slow you down, and it would be a huge headache dealing with them. The Ace of Cups is there with the Ace of Wands. But it's like they have too much baggage. They have baggage, okay, that they need to get rid of. Mm. Look at this, the Death card twice. The Death card twice, I'm telling you. Where you have invested, you're about to invest elsewhere. It's about to be a brand new beginning in work and career and home. <clears throat> yep, Ten of Wands in reverse. That's not going to move forward. It's about to be a brand new beginning in work and career and your investments. A lot of you are going to be a spiritual teacher. You're going to be a spiritual teacher. The Strength card, yeah. And the world. You're going to be an online spiritual teacher. Okay, a lot of you. Talking about astrology, talking about magic, quantum physics, healing, sound therapy. Okay, this is going to be your career. This is going to turn into your full-time career. This is what a lot of you are going to do, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And you're going to do it in a very childlike manner, okay? Spirit is saying approach it with a childlike manner, right? Because children, <clears throat> children are not, you know, they believe anything is possible, right? They have this innocence about them and... You know, they believe anything is possible, and they can imagine it, they can dream it. So the Spirit is saying, get ready to dream, get ready to imagine the impossible, Aquarius. Because if you can see it, then it can become real for you. It can manifest itself for you. You only have to believe it. You only have to have faith that it will manifest for you, and it will, okay? It most certainly and absolutely will. And they are saying yes, okay? It does not have to be this massive struggle for you. You know, you can just do guided meditation, positive affirmations. But you see, a lot of you, you're already, you're already on the path to victory here. I'm telling you, a beautiful home, beautiful business, it's going to be yours. Yeah, like you see, people can only cause you towers if you allow them at this point in time.
these towers can only occur if you let certain people into your energy. If you don't let certain people into your energy, Aquarius, then they can't cause these towers in your life because they're blocked. You see, Spirit, up until now, you see, up until now, Aquarius, a lot of you haven't really been doing much. You've just been, you know, hanging out at home, working, keeping to yourself, right? The hermit, you know, I'm getting the hermit energy. Like, you you just keep to yourself, you know? And part of that is the energy that Spirit has put over you. It was like a spiritual protection they put over you. And it's to prepare you for this, this beautiful new life that's right there, right around the corner where you are going to be abundance, where you are going to be shining your light, where you're going to be living your life, your best life, okay? Really enjoying your days here on this planet. So they have shielded you from a lot of it. And thankfully so. But the tower on the side is still there. It's like, will you, you know, access deny people from your past that, you know, you already know what time it is. You already know what time it is with this man or this woman from your past. A lot of you already know what time it is. But Spirit is saying, at the end of the day, you have free will. Just know the Seven of Wands with the Five of Swords is going to be a huge headache. Because that individual still has baggage that they don't want to release. And like I said, for a lot of you, it could be that they're in a hidden marriage, a hidden engagement with a third-party karmic. So it's time to move on to bigger and better. And you're going to move on to bigger and better. And it's going to be beautiful, okay? You're going to shine your light. You're going to come into glory. That's what I see here. So that's your read, Aquarius. I do hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care. <music>